No niin, kello on kolme ja tervetuloa kaikille. On tarkoitus puhua sananvapaudesta, itsesensuurista ja siitä, miltä tämä maailma näyttää tällä hetkellä. Esittelen kohta vieraamme. Ja tuu vetää tämän setin, tämä koko paneeli tulee ole englannissa, koska meillä on ruotsalainen vieras täällä. So, welcome all to this discussion panel. It's all about freedom of speech. Freedom of expression, security, safety, self-censorship, and censorship, and human rights in general, and how these are related. What is happening in the world, what is happening in Europe, and what interests us most, what is happening in the Nordic country. I am Lauri Rikas. What I want to say, the first word is the word fright. Fright is the problem, and uh, that is also uh, a part of the problem of freedom of speech. People are afraid. And uh, to be here today is a, one of my few possibilities to come out, to say something. Uh, I think there is some urgent point concerning people's speech. And uh, finally, Al-Qaeda uh, found that this was an interesting object. This was so known that it could be used in their strategies. And that is the way they can press the freedom of speech by finding we have to just take out one single, or very, very few single targets, <coughs> and uh, put the pressure on that. And then we will silence everyone else, because, and that is what you can, you can look at me here and say, I am the one that is single out. And uh, I am then a warning to everyone here that if <coughs> anyone else is doing something I did, you can get into the same situation. And also, you, we create that by going into the same room as I am, you are at risk. Because someone could make a terrorist act, and then people around me could be killed. So, so I'm a kind of danger. And, and, and that's how terror works. And that's how you silence and you create self-censorship. And uh, we have also understand that also the media is, is a part of this. Because uh, what can you do? Um, as some sort of um, media when, when, um, uh, when you have this uh, threatening going on because um, um, the terrorists are also very aware that the media is an actor that is also to be pointed out. And, and um, the fight is of course the same uh, concerning the media. Most media <coughs> is in Sweden are, are uh, securing their offices, making new entrances, making it more difficult for things. Uh, it's, it's a costly program they have to surround themselves so by security. And of course, that they avoid to be controversial in many senses. We have to understand that as long as the uh, freedom of speech is legal, it is legal and can be used. But, I mean, we have also the problem of quality. Some, are, some things are more interesting than others. And when you have to uh, take a stand against the quality of freedom of speech, one has to understand that we have to look at uh, the context. I, I think that one of the best, best examples of this is the uh, Finnish artist Ulla Kaplan, who actually made, a, a few years ago, she made a project about uh, pedophilia and how e easy it was to uh, get uh, pictures from the internet. And it was a kind of critical art project about pedophilia. So she actually found pictures very easy on the net and she presented these pictures in a um, in artistic form in a gallery in, here in Helsinki. And um, I mean, she was criticizing you know, the situation uh, and she was really concerned about it. But what happened? Well, the uh, Finnish police uh, raided the exhibition and see she was accused of being a pedophile by showing pedophile uh, pictures. And actually taken to court and uh, also uh, she, she uh, uh, lost in the court and she was judged 
um, as, as a pedophilia. Um, and that is, of course, that when you just look at the picture, say this picture is a pedophile, pedophile picture, because I can see here, it has something to do with that. And uh, if you don't look at the context, if you look at the context, it's, a, it's extremely obvious that this thing here was about a critical period. And, and today we have entered the situation that anyone who actually looks at something and say, oh, I've insulted. So that's enough. You don't have to take care. You don't have to take into consideration anything about the context around it. And then there we have that this is a quality, uh, a quality factor also to, to, uh, to have as an understanding why it is this something which is um, acceptable to the freedom of speech.